Hi Lego Sam 1234 here with a behind the scenes video. This is a behind the scenes uh, what goes on, how my videos work and how I film them. I'm going to be showing you lots of different stuff uh, which I use for videos and um, it's going to be an awesome episode so I'm going to get started. So that's my logo as you know. Uh, you'll have seen that quite a lot on, on every video for a long time now. And um, my studio, which I film in, I'm just <coughs> is that. A converted bookshelf, um, which is quite big. It's spacious. You can fit plenty of stuff in there. Um, so that's where all my reviews went on. And it used to be, if you remember, like that colour. But I painted it white. And it does look a bit weird. But there you go. So, uh, yes, you might think, I've already done a collection and a tour thing, but no, this is different. This is behind the scenes, uh, how my videos work. So, first up, I have to come up with videos. So, you know, they don't just happen. I have to think about them and uh, what I'm going to do in them. So, I don't know if you can see me. Can you see me? Hopefully you can. So, I have to think about what I have to do. Um, and... To do that, then I need to be able to plan and I need to be able to record. So, I have this book. And can you see that? Yes, you can. This is my recording book. And I'll turn it round. Okay, so this is my YouTube book. And this is where I record everything. So, we have all videos, which I have done up to the frigate review, which was a couple of videos ago. And these are them all, and you can see there are 109 of them in the last, since June, so you figure it out. And I've left plenty of space to fill that up with videos to come. And then halfway through, you get to my plan. Uh, plans for what I'm going to do, and I have just started this. Um, so, you can see there, there are the plans, and these are very exclusive. So, you can see what's going to be happening soon. Um, so they're the plans, that's what's going to be happening, um, but I'm going to shut that out so you can't read them all. So uh, that's my book, and that's where everything gets recorded, what I do, and my plans as well. So studio-wise, it's very basic, it's got my lights up there, you can see which bit wasn't painted, and I've got a mini figure packet. And this is my stand of, uh, on this is my stand of mini figure bases of which I use to stand things on to make them higher and this is what I use to put the mini figures on to do the spinning thing which I've done in my last couple of uh, reviews and I will be doing that from now on because I think it looks much better than me handling them so that's a new thing which I'm doing uh, my stand which I got part for Christmas and that is a proper iPhone stand and that does bring me to my next point which is yes I film all of my videos with my iPhone uh, it's iPhone 4 it's uh, pretty it's pretty cool I have been using it for a while um, there's a case for it and yeah so I do record all videos using my iPhone um, and I know not many people do that, a lot of people have these really professional cameras but you know if you uh, if you look at the results then you can see that um, it's pretty good compared to some um, really expensive cameras so I don't go out buying loads of cameras, I just use my phone. Uh, this is my old stand and I will just press that around and I'll have to balance that. I used to use this with this piece on which I did build for my phone and it twists and I used to put that on there, that's super glued on I used to put that on there and then that's a stand and then that used to be the thing but then I got this other one for Christmas so that's recording um, that's recording area and that's where I record I also have down there, you will recognise from a couple of videos and that's where I put the big white cloth um, which I use for bigger reviews of which I like those and that. So all the bigger reviews I do down there and all the little things I do down here. Uh, I don't record my bed or anything but it's either there or there. And there was one there once but there you go. So next after videoing what do you do? 
you edit. And this is my little editing studio. Well, actually, it's not an editing studio. It's just where I keep my laptop. Uh, and that's just full there. And this is my laptop. I'm sorry if the pitch is a bit weird. Um, I'm just doing a video. And second point is, yes, I do use Windows Movie Maker. Which you may think, oh, he's old-fashioned, but I'm not. Because it works brilliantly. I can do my stop motions on it and everything. Uh, I've had, I'm getting the latest, I'm do, I'm dealing with the latest updates. Uh, I have to go into PC World to see some of them because it won't update. So then I can do some slow motion things. So that should be pretty cool. And fast motion. So uh, I will be starting that. I'll start a little project doing that. So that should be quite fun for everybody. Uh, I have my catalogue down here of which I am hoping to be getting this for my birthday. I know I'm a Star Wars fan but The Hobbit, it was really good and... I just love the Goblin King. So there is a light in there, and you can see there's my my Miranda Mock. That might help. Miranda Mock and various things. This is another stand. Popped up here. This is another stand which I used, and that's for videos which are done that way. But that makes camera go away, so I don't like doing that. But that's what I use for some. And then is just stuff here is my little barrel of tricks and um, this is my like just all sorts of things i have glue tack for sticking things up i have a duster piece which dusts very well because uh, my room does have a dust problem uh phone cleaner a nintendo pen with a lego brick on the end a couple of pens and then my brick separators in there i've got two green and two orange so that's my little um like box of tricks which I comes in very handy and um, pop that down here and I also do have my lens in there which is a zooming lens and I will show you that in another vi an update video which I'll be doing soon um, which I'm going to try and use eventually so and up there you can't see it here but this I made this my own personal keyring, and I'm going to try and get some of these done. I'm also getting some business cards printed, and I'm going to try and do it via Vistaprint, if you've heard of that site. I'm going to get some business cards done, so I'm really, like, moving up and trying to really be really professional. Got my logo, got my keyrings, I will have my, uh, thingy-mabobbies, my Vistaprint cards, and for Christmas, as a little gift, I will show you that I got this done from my mum and dad my own t-shirt with my logo on so I have a lot of merchandise uh, no it is not for sale but I might I might when I get a bit more you know bigger on YouTube so that's my behind the scenes video as you can see I keep my Lego everywhere uh, on there got my logo again there all over the place I am completely surrounded by it and if you were ever to enter my room it is there is nowhere you can look without your peripheral vision catching on some Lego. Unless you close your eyes. <laughs> so, that is it for the behind the scenes Lego Sam uh, video. And I will come back with another one when I've got some more stuff going and I get some more ideas flowing around and etc etc. So, uh, I am doing an update video. Uh, it might even, it, it'll maybe be before this or it might be after. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe check out my other videos thanks for watching this behind the scenes video i hope you enjoyed it any questions please ask i am happy to answer but uh, any um